Good afternoon. This video is to demonstrate a small uh, little modification within Cabinet Vision in order to streamline some of the processes that shops encounter. And um, this, so this is just a quick demonstration of what the, a scenario is and how we can automate it. Anyways, uh, this is done in version 10 and it's applicable to all newer versions as well. So the scenario that was presented was that um, in um, an applied end Euro construction, these applied ends are a waste of time for finishing and or a waste of material. They don't need to be full depth when cabinet number one and three is up tight against this panel. And the customer is going around the room and grabbing number two or wherever this scenario applied, hitting plan view, grabbing the panel, saying that the, um, the panel itself is only uh, six inches wide. So leaving all other properties alone and then um, saying this is a width and then it's going to the effort of in out is now 23.625 minus 6 plus 0.875 to have it flush the front of the doors and in a position that it would be in the real world. And similar to this on the right hand side doing the same thing but it's a calculations are a little different. We change the calculation to width is 6. The in out, we're going to go to 23.625. We're going to add 0.875 because it's referring to the front of that part. And um, clicking on the part. So this is now 23.625. And we're going to go to plus 0.875. Enter. There's the calculation. There's our parts. They're looking symmetrical. And then when it goes out to the real world, then these fillers are only brought this deep. And it's a nice, clean presentation. And we've dropped the material and we've dropped the finishing off of the project. Or we've lessened it, anyways, to a degree. So the issue is that it takes time to go through the job and to find all these scenarios and to do them. Anyways, so uh, what we're going to do is we're going to propose a modification to automate this. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go into a, our user constructed standards, user created standards, and um, I've created two UCSs and at the current time they're turned off. So I turn this on and I turn this on. Now what it does is First off, we at the cabinet level, we assign a question saying, in this cabinet, do we allow filler ends? And so um, the question is that it'll be called F1 filler ends, and it's only none, left only, right only, or both. So if the filler end is not equal to zero, that means we're going to filler, filler one of our applied ends, then I want to adjust its position by 7 eighths of an inch. And this is user defined, and it's going to sit in a variable here. And if it is turned off, then we're going to delete this adjustment. And that's the first one. And the second one is just going through and actually adjusting the left finished end and the right finished end. So if it's a left finished end, if it's an applied finished end at the cabinet level, then we'd like to see is, you know, have you picked left only or both? And then we're going to change the width to six, and we're going to change the in-out position to be the same way that we manually calculated it. That's going to be it. And then we have a bunch of end ifs. We're going to look at the same properties on the right-hand side, but the in-out position is slightly different, as well as the values we're looking for. And we're going to close this. And when we come to the, cloud, uh, the cabinet itself, we see that we have the, the question called filler ends, yes or no. So what we'll do first is we will go through and click on the left part here, and we're going to go and um, look at the properties of this part and remove the overrides. So this is removing the position as well as the size of the part. Hit OK. We're going to take this one and we're going to do the same thing here. Go to Properties, Overrides, and remove the position as well as the size modification. Hit OK. So what we're left with is back to the default cabinet with applied 
planton filler ends being applied to this cabinet. And so now we want to automate this. So when we click on cabinet number two, we want to grab cabinet number two. We want to say filler ends on the left only. And now it will do those two calculations, which are change the width to six as well as reposition the part. And we can do that all from the right hand side. And we don't even have to edit the parts, click on them or anything. We can do that. And if we decide to do something funky because we're like creating a unique scenario, so let's say we want three inches, and that'll bring the parts uh, in out. And if we go to both like this, then I have this position in out here. And if I take my cabinet and I shrink it in, now I can cover up the edges of the exposed cabinets on the left or the right, number one and number three, as well as still maintain all of my calculations for part sizing in elevation. Nothing's been touched here, so there's still an applied end and applied end. We just got in and tweaked how we expect it to work. Um, any questions, send them to tech at Planet Canada. Thank you very much.